Excelsior. Guys, it's time for another Marvel Legends review. Today I have got Hammerhead. Remember I did the five figures in one review for the retro wave just after New Year's? And I, I said Hammerhead needed to arrive yet. Well, he's got here finally. I am delighted to have Hammerhead here. And I'm going to review this guy right now. So guys, let me know what you think of Hammerhead as I go check out the box. So let's look at the retro card for Hammerhead. And as you can see, it's the very same as the old Toy Biz ones with the lights flashing onto the billboard where you see Marvel's Hammerhead. He does look really nice in package. You can see both his other hands and baseball bat and got the classic Spider-Man logo at the top. Window on both sides, you can see all in. On the back, you can see he has like instructions, retro instructions, how to change his hand. Same picture again. It does say Hammerhead's skull is reinforced with adamantium making his head flat on top. All the same, these hard-headed criminals frequent run into Spider-Man cause him no shortage of headaches. And here you are, already the fast selling out rest of the wave, especially these two. So guys, get them if you can now because they are only going to shoot through the roof. Again, you've got all the legalese here and that's it. Let's get Hammerhead out of the box. So guys, here is Hammerhead out of the box and he is looking dapper in his pinstripe suit. And really, really mean looking face on him. I really like this figure so far. I have messed around with him a little bit. And as you can see, he's quite the angry looking gentleman. I do like the suit though. My first question, and now this is going to go off on one. My first question when I was buying this figure, well not when I was buying it, but when I was ordering it, was would that suit fit a Norman Osborn or a Daredevil head? And I'm going to answer that question if you're real quick. So the answer to the Norman Osborn question is a pretty definitive no. Because the head looks really, really tiny on him. And he looks overly stocky. So that's a definite no on Osborn. Let's check out that uh, Matt Murdock head I've got. And unfortunately, I'm having quite um, a time fitting the, that head on. And I'm afraid because I damaged the peg. This actually seems smaller on the inside. Now, I know... Friend of the channel, Brandon Munden, got this on, no problem, but uh, I've seen to have a bit of a problem with it. So anyway, let's get on with the review. So height-wise, let's have a look at him next to his old friend, Spider-Man. And he is, he is tall enough, definitely. And he looks really, really good next to him as well. So yeah, really like this fella. Let's look at articulation. So he's got a quite a good movement of range. Range of movement on his head, up, down, side to side, quite a good bit. Full on, can look up, can look down. So yeah, shoulders, we've got a good rotation. Those go out this far. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist goes in and out and around. And take a look at his wrist. It has... The knuckle duster on it there, which is really cool. Now, there is articulation lost in the ab because he's wearing a suit. That's fine by me. Legs go this far out, this far wide. And you do still get a rotation here at the hip, at the waist, which is cool. He has got thigh swivels, a double jointed knee, which is quite tight, but it does go up that far. Again, no boot rotation because he's not wearing boots. He does have ankle rockers at the shoe, which are quite good, quite tight as well. So, so let's look at accessories. He only comes with his trusty baseball bat, which is quite cool and does fit in his hands. If you'll allow me to not be fiddly for a moment. So it does fit quite well on his hand, but he does come with two separate hands as well, which are really cool. And the one for his right hand doesn't come with the knuckle duster that he has on oh, there we go yeah so hammerhead is a really awesome villain and i'm delighted to finally pick up a version of him i did miss the one with um that had the jonah jameson head and the comedian head a few years back so glad to get a second shot at him and uh yeah he's pretty awesome guys i would definitely like the others he's going to go fast from the retro series and probably go up in value so if you are interested in the character, I would definitely suggest picking him up soon, guys, because he's really, really good. 
and he is an important part of Spider-Man's history as well. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, guys, if you did like the review, hit that like button, comment below, tell me what you think of this figure. Tell me what you think of the character in general, if you want. Uh, I'm interested to hear opinions on him because he's not a huge villain, stature-wise, history-wise. And yeah, so tell me what you think, guys. And if you're really, really feeling generous and you're new, please hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm almost to a thousand and that would help massively. So thanks very much, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.